again, everyone. Touched to Roots the Horror Nerd here at Scares That Care Charity Weekend Number Seven here in Williamsburg, Virginia. And I have the distinct pleasure of sitting here with a Scares That Care regular and fan favorite, Miss Tracy Toms. Tracy, how You're are you? Nice. I'm great. <laughs> how are you? I am doing great, too. Good. I get to sit here with you. So I'm having a blast. <laughs> Great. I feel the same way. Fantastic. Thank you. How is the convention going for you so far? I mean, it's fantastic. The problem I have is that I don't want to sit at my table. I just want to walk around and see all the people that I'm fans of because I'm also <laughs> a horror nerd. So I'm having the oh, best time. Get, I need to get your shirt. <laughs> I'm having the best time. The yes. Horror nerds. Right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> there you go. I need that. <laughs> I will hook that up. Please do. I need all the things. Well, I know. I saw a picture. You were, apparently were doing karaoke already last night. I here. was just there. I'm uh, supposed to not be singing. Doctor's orders. Uh, I'm doing a musical right now, and, and I'm supposed okay. to not be singing. I'm going to try my best to not sing. I know how you are. It's going to be hard to keep you from the karaoke microphone. Yes. It's going to be hard. You have that reputation. I know. Everybody's <laughs> like, what are we singing? I'm like, <laughs> maybe I'll do one tomorrow. Maybe. Okay. We'll see how we feel tomorrow. All right. I lost my voice last time. Mm. If you remember, the third day I had no voice. Right, right. I do remember that. I do remember. Disciplined this I distinctly time. remember the fire alarm in the middle of our last The fire interview. alarm was also so very exciting. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> no fire alarm. So you mentioned you're working on a musical. What, what are you working on? Actually, we're doing a musical... Um, how do I describe it? It's it's uh, Tarantino Live uh, with this, uh, a company called For the Record. And basically what we do in L.A. is we take uh, films, soundtracks, and put them together. So you have a Tarantino show. And it's all Tarantino songs. Songs that Tarantino's use in movies. Oh, that sounds Interwoven cool. with scenes and things. And it's really a fun experience. They've done uh, Coen Brothers. They've done Baz Luhrmann. They've done uh, John Hughes, hmm. Zemeckis, uh, The Marshalls, and that show. Scorsese. Um, so, yeah, we're doing Tarantino Live. That's cool. I mean, I know you have a, a musical theater background. My daughter, who I introduced, you, is also in musical theater. Awesome. So, you were in Rent. I was in Rent. So, I was. just can you give us a blurb about that experience? How, Rent what was, was that great. Like? It was like my, uh, my first big movie mm. that I ever did. And um, it. Uh, it was a dream come true. You know, I, I saw Rent on Broadway in 96. Nope, 97. And I just really dedicated my life to try to be in Rent. And they kept saying no. And I kept auditioning. They kept saying no. And then Christopher Columbus said yes. And I did the movie. And, the and then I did the show history. on Broadway. <laughs> then I closed it on Broadway and did that movie. So now I'm in two Rent movies after not after being rejected for like eight years. Well, dream. Uh, listen, you stick with the dream and stick it can come it. true, right? Perseverance. <laughs> exactly. Um, you have been in so many iconic things. I'm looking at your... your My ridiculous trade, table. You know, or... Death Proof, uh, Devil Wears Prada, Cold Case. Do you have a personal favorite? I mean, because because I tried so hard to get in rent, I'd have to say rent. If I have to say one, but Death Proof was a dream come true too to work with Quentin and um, and to, and to reunite with Rosario. We got to play uh, play again together. And um, yeah, I had no idea Devil Wears Prada was gonna do, do what it did because I worked four days on that movie, and that's the that's probably the biggest movie I've been in. <laughs> it's Devil Wears Prada. So you never know. You never know what's gonna. Of what's going to pop off, you know? Of course. So, like, so 911, right? I, some, uh, I, 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 can the episodes ever get any more, like, over the top sometimes? Like, you've had a tsunami, uh, yeah. right? An earthquake, a tornado. Yeah, Every the one episode, we're doing like, right what? now. <laughs> the one we're shooting right now, which is the season premiere. No spoilers. No spoilers, <laughs> but... You don't want to miss that one. You're going to have to watch 9 I mean, I read the folks. scripts and I'm like, how are you going to do this? <laughs> wait, and Earth, wait, the building falls over? <laughs> how are you going to shoot that? How are you going to shoot a tsunami? They do it. <laughs> they figure it out. Fun stuff, though. I, I, I got to believe that it, with all the hard work, it's got to be a thrill to do some of that stuff, oh, to it, act, you know, in, in big, big action set yeah, pieces. Yeah, I'm never in them, though, like 9 one I'm always at home mm. with the kids. <laughs> I want to be in a natural disaster. 
Well, maybe that happens sometimes. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and they have to come save me, and I get to be like damsel in distress. It'll be fun if they ever write it. Um, so one last, you know, mm-hmm. uh, uh, other than, you know, still on 911, your musical that you're working on, any other projects you can share with us um, that I'm, you're working on? Uh, I'm about to do, um, sorry, words. Words are nice. Mm. <laughs> August 20th, <laughs> season two of Truth Be Told uh, starts on Apple Plus. So Apple TV Plus. So season two of that, I'm in that show as well. Cool. Um, hopefully they'll call me back on Station 19. I love going there and playing with those guys. And uh, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So one final uh, thing, Tracy, if, if there are any final words you would like to share with the people watching about Scares That Care and what uh, keeps you coming back to our convention. Well, it's a convention, but it's like it's like a family reunion, really. Um, I love Scares That Care. It's very small and intimate, and you really get to know the people that you are that that you're signing for, and then they become friends. I've made friends here mm-hmm. um, with the volunteers, and it's just a beautiful cause. It's a way to use our strange love of horror for good. Um, and then turn it into something good because people often just don't understand what we do, you know? They don't understand the way we love horror and they think that makes us like depraved people and it's actually quite the opposite you know I find that horror fans are the most loving people so I will always come back because I just love this convention I love these people I love what it stands for and I'm happy to be here that is great well Tracy we love having you here you, thank I you. was not kidding when I said you're a fan favorite oh, thank it's always you. a thrill to have you at Scares the Care because thank you. you embrace it and you fully participate in everything that we do and we love you for that thank you Tracy, thanks for having thank me thank you so much for a few minutes of your time. Of course. I wish you much success in all your current projects and in everything you do. Thank you. And have a great rest of the weekend. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. (laughs) Tracy Toms, everybody here at Scares of Care Charity Weekend 7 in Williamsburg, Virginia. The Horror Nerd signing off, and we will see all of you in the next interview.